Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think previous experience is a fantastic signal. It's what, what we like to call a nice to have. Um, it's not a hard and fast prerequisite for us. And I will say that I do know some VCs will only invest in founders that have prior experience. That's, that's one way of looking at this problem. Um, I personally don't take that approach because I've just seen too much evidence to the contrary. I've seen too many first time founders that are just so good and really will succeed. Um, and I think it's fair to take that chance on them. But when a founder has been down this road before, it's not their first rodeo. Um, there is not as much work to be done when it comes to coming up the learning curve in certain areas. And that can make the process easier for investors as well as founders. So it's something to take into account. Um, it's absolutely a bonus, but um, for me, you know, it's not a non-starter if someone doesn't have that experience. And also, I mean, I've see, unfortunately, I've seen too many times uh, founders that have had phenomenal past experiences and built great successful companies and had nice exits that unfortunately can't repeat that a second time. So I think um, past success is not a guarantee of future performance, right? And you've, you've heard that term. <laughs> That's back in my old securities days. <laughs> exactly. You see that on the front of the prospectus for your mutual fund, but it's, it applies to people too. So, yeah. 